Okay, here we are again, guys. I've uh, dismantled him. Um, and just for extra reference. Um, but yeah, uh, probably wasn't quite as easy as I thought it would be. Um, but, I mean, it wasn't too bad. It was just a matter of getting his uh, legs, because his legs are hollow um, for his legs to obviously slide down inside. Um, so, yeah, once you sort of just straighten his legs up, he, he generally drops in reasonably okay. The only things you've obviously must watch um, is uh, basically his ankles obviously have a few flaps on them, which... Um, could get caught and I didn't want them to snap off so just doing it with extra care just to make sure that doesn't happen uh, but otherwise it went in uh, reasonably okay so providing once you've got the legs straight you shouldn't have too many dramas um, now one little touch that I really liked uh, so that you don't sort of scrape the, the paint off of the Mark 43 um, they've got a nice little foam bit here for his crutch to sit on which was I, I thought was a nice little touch which was good that they thought of that um, now for display's sake uh, I've actually taken uh, his hands off Mark 43's hands um, because I've got him in uh, blasting pose so it was the wrong hand and I didn't have the box on hand to, to swap him out no pun intended there sorry um, so yeah uh, there is plenty of room um, for a hand to be still attached um, as you can see um, in there, there's heaps. Um, so yeah, that's there. You have it. That's him sitting in there quite comfortably. Um, his shoulder blade, like his actual shoulders, they actually have a little spring-loaded bit in there, um, which is good. So I haven't actually tried it with the components on. So I guess here we go. Um, all right. Now I guess this would be. Um, give you a bit of a demo on actually how good these magnets are so I mean you've got a magnet here 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 and that basically the whole way round um, so obviously the same on the back of that and then it's just a matter of lining them up and click perfectly lines into place as you can see lines up with his his chest piece um, so I'm guessing that's obviously since obviously Mark 43 has got his own lights I'm assuming that's just so that you can display it with it like that I guess um, then you've got this piece here which has a couple of little magnets on it also literally <laughs> that easy just very simple um, then you close these up and they just literally just push them so they latch and lock onto there on and then basically his shoulders are left and these are very simple like four magnets so they can attach to these and then you just got to make sure that you hear the, the click so they're actually sitting in the right actual right spot but this is where the test comes in because it's actually sitting on mark 43 I don't know if that's my stuff up it could be Oh, no, it's just a matter of moving his shoulders out of the way with that spring load. Okay, cool. Now, when it comes to the top here, there's a direct magnet directly behind his head. So, this will certainly be a test when I come to putting that on. Just attach the other side. Which isn't going on where it's supposed to. for the helmet and the helmet's obviously got the magnet there with the magnets on the for him focuses and plus doing this by one hand isn't exactly easy so we just got to move Iron Man's head out of the way 
Now this should just snap into place. It usually does, but obviously this is the first time with Iron Man in the hot seat. Okay, got it in the groove behind and like that. Didn't even have to use any force, it's already perfectly lined it up. And then obviously just gotta adjust Iron Man's head a bit for the helmet to go down. And there you have it. Sorry if the camera's a bit <laughs> shaky. But yeah, that's that's it. So there's Mark 43 inside. Um, as for posability now, um, I know straight off like his legs automatically already feel a lot stiffer um, because obviously his legs are inside. But for posability's sake, um, I think it's still pretty good. I mean, I think it's I think they did well uh, personally. So yeah, if you're still debating whether or not you should get um, this piece, I mean. For display's sake, if you weren't interested in the Mark 43, I'd still recommend the Hogbuster um, any day of the week. I mean, that is um, pretty damn superb, I must say so. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I just uh, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update and sort of at least show you how it actually fits in there. Um, thanks, guys. I'll talk to you soon.